So we got a 2007 Pontiac Vibe in the shop and uh, we're getting ready to do a transmission filter and fluid change. We'll show you how that's done. All right, so we're gonna take this cover down here. We got a couple of button plugs. We got one here and then Looks there's like the something up over here. There's a tent up over here we're gonna get. Take this one out. There's another one here. Yeah, there's another one. So we're going to do our transmission service and it's got all 10 millimeter bolts on the pan. I just want to crack them loose with the little hand ratchet first. Just, just crack them. I'm going to drain it in a minute. I just want to, I like to hit these with the impact gun, but I'm not going to hit them from a, you know, unless I know I crack them loose. These are small bolts. I do not want them to break. I'm not feeling like drilling and tapping tonight. So At we're just going to us. crack them loose. I'm gonna get the pan, we're gonna drain it. I'll tell you the size of the pan plug. Looks like either a 13 or 14. Feels the light. Battery just died on the light. We got another one. I'm just gonna crack these all loose and then we'll come back in just a moment. 14. So we got a we got a 14 millimeter. Crack that loose. Lucky this trainee has a Train plug on it. Yeah. Pin. Is that factory? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Is that your old one? Is that your old one? It's not. Watch it stuck to the pan, so we got to make sure it don't fall in the bucket. There it is. You know it will. Of course it will. So we're going to drain this down, and I'm going to start taking these 10 millimeter bolts off. I've already cracked them with the um, small quarter drive setup, so I'm going to put the 10 millimeter on the little gun, and we'll just zip these all up. Now. I'm going to leave a couple on the front here because the pan will drain down that way. This gasket's gonna probably start making a mess in a minute there. There you go. Oh, I didn't get anything on it. <laughs> I didn't either. Mess of the day, who could it be? <laughs> yeah. You own it this time, they me. Pan bolt back in loose, just so it's just in there a little bit. And the gasket is kind of being a little stinker, so I think I'm gonna peel it off after I get the pan down. The plug in the pan is supposed to help you prevent making a mess. <laughs> Steve found the way around it though. No. <laughs> Doesn't matter. No. <laughs> okay, a new little filter in here it's got a couple of tens that hold that on three of them and that's gonna make a nice little splash when we take that down so there you go Like this one bolt over here is longer than the rest of them. It's got a little gasket on the filter right here. So we're gonna make sure we put that on the new one. Okay, so just looking up at the transmission. You now we want to make sure there's no metal debris. We're gonna check the pan and we'll just give this a quick dry with the tab. Make sure our gasket uh, splice, uh, seam here is going to be nice and clean. We're going to wipe that down with the rag to make sure it's clean. And this transmission has a little over 300,000 miles on it. You know, Steve and I always service our transmissions. A lot of people neglect them, but if, you can, if you're able to do a filter in it, replace the filter if it's not a sealed transmission, 
You should do it because you'll get the, you get the life out of it, right, Steve? Yeah, and you know, if you use the synthetic tranny fluid, you know, the, the clutches will run 20 to 40 degrees cooler, which is huge. Yeah, it's, it's huge for the longevity of the transmission. So, all right, so we got our new filter kit. It's got the gasket already stuck on it. We're just matching up the filter to make sure that everything looks like it lines up. And it does. So, uh, open it up. Bring this over. Yeah, it looks a little bent right there. During shipping, it's not gonna happen. This is a little bent. We're just gonna straighten this out with the pliers. If you look at this one, it's nice and flat. You know, you just gotta check this. Now, if this didn't, if this doesn't sit up flush because this is bent, this is gonna, this is gonna suck air. So we're gonna just flatten this out right now. Not a big deal. I mean, things can happen during shipping. So. All right, so we straightened it out nice and flat now. Okay, so I'm good with that. We got our gasket stuck on it. So we're going to go over and, and stick this filter up for now. We've got the one long bolt that went on this side. Here. I'm just going to take the gun and just give it a little snug. Catch the last bolt. We're going to hand tighten these with the ratchet. Just want them snug, you don't want to fall out. And it ratchet. Okay, that's tight. I'm gonna tighten these evenly. Sure the gasket gets sucked up evenly. Okay. The gasket came right off there. Yeah. Now there's a little bit of clutch material on the magnets here, but you know, that's normal for the amount of mileage that's on this. It's a lot of miles. So, you know, you can take the magnet up. You just got to put it back in the same spot and wipe it down. moved a little it should be straight like that but it's fine just gonna clean these magnets up a little bit you don't have to be super clean but I'm gonna wipe the pan down and there's not a lot of sediment there's no metal in it it's looking pretty good actually for the crazy mileage on it so so we're gonna get this all cleaned up I'm gonna get the heavy stuff with these rags and I'll get a nice clean paper towel give it a final wipe down and before I put the gasket on we're gonna address this drain plug to make sure it threads in there nice and easy so we'll come back in a moment so we got the pan wiped down nice and clean okay and we the gasket was just stuck to the thing, crazy. So I, I'm not trying to peel it up and break the seal. 
So I just threaded the 14 millimeter back in it and it's fine. So we got our new gasket over here. We're gonna lay this out and it's gonna go like that. Okay, we're going to get some grease, then we're going to grease it up and stick it down there. We'll catch a couple of bolts in it, and then we're going to set it up in place. We've got our transmission wiped down. We'll wipe it down one more time. I'm just going to get a little bit of grease, and we're going to grease this up, stick it on, put a little grease on the top side, so that when we mount it, you'll see the grease ooze out, and then we know we've got an even surface that's tightened up nice and even. So just taking a little grease, and I'll wipe it out of our pan here. I don't like to glue these. I just put a thin coat of grease. It's a rubber gasket. It's gonna be fine. This is gonna help stick the gasket down when we go to catch some bolts. And this will just basically dissolve over time on this. If you have Vaseline or Dielectric grease, you can use that, you know, as well. Um, dielectric's a little more expensive. I, I use this wheel bearing grease up, you know. Okay, you already laid out our gasket, so you know which way it goes. You can see as you're putting this down, it's just sticking. That's what we want. Okay, and we're just gonna go and put a couple of difficult bolts in. Say so we do, you know, like one over here and one over here to keep it in place, and then we catch the top one. So we're gonna get a little extension, put it on this way, or something to twist, and we'll catch the bolts. This paint's pretty shallow, I'm probably going to be alright without it, so... So we take a couple of bolts, we'll put one on the corner over here. And we want it to just wipe this down one more time. letting it hang because I want to catch a few bolts you know get another corner over here just starting to catch them now this is holding it up for us a little bit and we'll just start catching bolts and we'll catch them all before we tighten anything so I'll get one up over here make sure it doesn't move my gasket to the side over here. Okay, let's start catching all the rest of them and we'll come back then. We got all our pan bolts started and we're just gonna just run them so that they just touch. I'm not talking it with this. I'm gonna run them down so they just touch. You're saving me a little time. I'm gonna tighten these all by hand. Okay, get the hand ratchet here. Water drive is really all you need. 10 millimeter. And this whole job is 10 millimeter and a 14 millimeter. There you go. And we're just going to go around and snug these up. Just going to give them a little preliminary snug. 
then I like to go around the pan twice. You know, make sure. I, now, see how I'm tightening the, the the grease is oozing out of the, the side over here. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, that's what we mean about. We know it's tightened down evenly, and we'll work our way all the way around. And then at the end, we'll just take a rag and we'll just go around the whole pan and, and wipe it down. We didn't use a lot of grease, just a little bit to stick the gasket for us. You have a nice, you know, you have a nice tight, even seal. You've hit yes. all the bolts. It's kind of like right. a visual. I'm going around my second time, and I'm giving them a little snug, and you can get a feel for it. Once it's tight, you know it's tight. We're not killing this thing. All right, we're gonna finish this up. Yep. So I'm just gonna wipe down the pan now, get the excess grease off, and. Uh, we put our drain plug in, that's all tight. We'll wipe everything down so it looks nice and dry and neat. And we we're hearing that they take three quarts if it's just a drain and fill. And we used a little more. So we're gonna run, we're gonna put three quarts in, then we're gonna run it and we'll check our level. And we'll double check our 14 millimeter right now, make sure the drain plug is tight. And we're not gonna put our cover back on. Okay, that's good until we we're gonna run it, come back down, make sure there's no leaks, and we'll put the cover on last. Here's a tranny dipstick, it's got a little locking tab on it. You pull that off, you can pull that out, and just wipe that off. Okay, so we got our one gallon of Valvoline Max Life, that's what it says to take on this. And we're gonna pour this in. We're gonna put three in it. We're gonna run it and start it. So we're doing, what we're doing now is we're kind of having somebody shift through the gears, make sure the fluid gets in the, the, the uh, body, body, body. And right now, the initial thing, we're at the minimum right here. And this is the max hot. So this is gonna take a full four quart. You wanna leave it running? I didn't quite put the fourth full quart in yet. Just want to double check, make sure. Okay, it's coming up towards the middle there. So I'm going to be able to get the rest of that fourth quart in. And when this thing heats up, that's right where my thumbnail is here, it's going to come right up to the top. So it's going to take four quarts with the filter. Good. It's a little on the stick, you know, dragging up and down here, but we're just under the hot mark, so we're good. We got no leaks coming from the pan. Everything's dry. Um, we got a little grease smudge here. We're just going to give this another quick dry, but there's no drips. All right, I'll go with that. Let's get the cover. So we didn't have a lot of button plugs. There's a lot of holes in this cover, and I got two bolts in my hand <laughs> and uh, one button <clears throat> plug. So Hey, the cow's got the rear on it. Yeah. Looks like a pit bull got a hold of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay. so, I think back over here is probably, if I can find this hole first, this one here, and then this will kind of guide me up. You get the other ones lined up. We have one, one button plug down here. There you go. There you just go. push this cover in. That's what we did. Okay. All right. We'll get 
these two are started. We'll put the button plug in and we'll get another one and we'll come back. You kind of might have an access hole like this one does to get in it. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. yeah, an access hole. We'll get another Looks one. like my nephew Tyler made an access hole. We'll put a couple of button plugs here. <laughs> And it won't fall off going down the road, so that's the goal. If it does just hit a squirrel and it'll come the rest of the way up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of course, these ain't going to tighten up snug because they're 300,000 miles on them, so. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Get 400 grand out of this thing. He's on his way. <laughs> All right, that one's snug. Oh, let me get a couple more buttons, folks. <laughs> There's one. Okay, all right. So we get some button plugs in. We get the two tens back on. The filter's all serviced. All right, so we're good.